So there I was, in Berlin. It was in the winter of 2011, and it was freezing cold. I hadn't been in Berlin for six years now, and there was something different about the city, but I didn't understand what it was exactly. That night, I had a walk around Alexanderplatz. I strolled along the fountain. I looked up to the fancy turm and then I returned to my room in the parking hotel Alexanderplatz. And then I knew the difference. During my previous visit in 2005, it was about 15 years after the fall of the Berlin Wall. Back then, there was a significant positive vibe in the city. People believed that the unification of East and West Germany would lead to freedom and wealth for all. But that night in 2011, I realized that was not what my eyes were seeing. Alexanderplatz was the heart of the former capital city of the communist regime in East Berlin. And 22 years after the fall of the Berlin Wall, it didn't look better, it looked worse. Yes, everyone was free to go from east to the west. You could walk under the Brandenburger Tor now. 22 years ago, that monument was in the middle of a minefield. But now you could touch it and all of that freedom had not solved poverty and inequality in Berlin yet. There were so many people living on the streets at Alexanderplatz and its surroundings that I went to bed with an awkward feeling about Berlin. Don't get me wrong, I love Berlin and freedom is one of the most valuable assets a man can have. But what I realized that night was that the unification of Germany was not finished yet. Berlin was still a work in progress that was going to need many years or even many decades of hard work to turn it into the place that the people in Berlin had been dreaming of for so many years. In 2011, I discovered that Berlin was not wrapping up its unification. It was just starting it. 